Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Carlos and welcome back to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Today I'll be sharing my top 12 Iris fragrances. Keep it right there. Brooklyn Fragrance Lover Before I jump into this, I just want to say that these are my personal iris-based fragrances. I'm sure there are plenty of other iris fragrances out there that I haven't smelled or don't own, so I'm working with what I do own. An honorable mention before we get into the list is Iris, I-R-I-S-S-S -S -S by Surgeoff. It's a beautiful, beautiful iris-based fragrance that's just very, very expensive, so I don't own it. I believe it's in the ballpark of $800. But if you have the means and can afford it, definitely do check that one out. As most of you know, there are different types of iris-based fragrances. There are powdery ones, there are very powdery ones, there are cold ones, warm ones, lipsticky type ones. I think in this top 12 list, I've covered a wide array of different types. So let's get it going at number 12. From the Xenia Ascenza Collection, Florentine Iris. It's a pretty simple fragrance, doesn't really evolve much. It's crisp, it's very bright and it does its job. I call it the crisp white shirt iris fragrance. Steve and I recently reviewed it so check it out if you can. At number 11 from Ramon Managal, this is Impossible Iris. This is a very happy fresh out of the shower fruity iris. It contains raspberry and it's really a nice take on iris in my opinion. Coming in at number 10 and I'm sure some will argue that it should be in a different position but it's only my opinion right? Serge Luton's Iris Silver Mist. This was composed by Maurice Roussel, and in his book, Perfume the Guy, Luca Torn says, it's the powderiest, rudiest, most sinister iris imaginable. A gray ostrich feather boa to wear with purple velvet to a poet's funeral. Coming in at number nine from Frederick Mal, Iris Poudre. This is a very powdery iris fragrance. It's got a few florals, it's got some aldehydes. It's perhaps one of the more feminine leaning iris fragrances on this list, but I really do enjoy it, despite that. Coming in at number eight, I don't need to say much about this one, Valentino Womo Intense. Of all the Womo fragrances from Valentino, this one is definitely my favorite. Coming in at number seven, a duo from Prada, the Infusion, there's Infusion the Iris and there's Infusion Dome, the other way around. <laughs> I like them both equally. I think they're both definitely unisex. Soapy, but very pleasurable and definitely two of my favorites from the House of Prada. Coming in at number six from Bruno Fazzolati, Full Secret, Secret Fire. This is a great fragrance, one of my favorite releases of 2017. It's Iris with heavy doses of cedar, spice, and smoke. Excellent, check it out if you haven't. Coming in at number five from Prada again, Lone Prada. I love this one, you guys have seen my review, hopefully. This is a great one, a lot of iris, fresh, clean, soapy, love this one. And I definitely love the, the intense version that recently came out, but this to me is much more iris based than the intense. Now, an iris topless would not be an iris topless without Dior Homme. I have a tie, I have the original formulation and the reformulation. I love them both equally, a little lipsticky, but good stuff. Love, love, love this one. Coming in at number three from Atelier de Source, Iris Fauve. I recently reviewed this one as well with Steven. It's a warm, sexy Iris, great stuff, and it comes with gold flakes. Really excellent juice though, seriously. Coming in at number two, winding this down very soon, we've got from 80s of Anustas. Iris Nazarina. This is my steamy iris. It's got some incense. It's a beautifully done fragrance. Love it, love it, love it. And my number one top best iris fragrance is from the house of Mask Milano, La Tessa. The first time I smelled this at Twisted Lily, I was just completely blown away. It is the most full and beautiful 
iris root, it's got leather, it's got a champagne note, it's got ylang ylang. This, out of all of these iris fragrances, I will tell you, has gotten me the most compliments. Whenever I wear it, I get at least three, hands down. Actually, let's smell this. I have an audience. I have somebody watching me. Let's see if he gets a downwind of this. Te gusta? I can get it from here. Okay, I'll let you smell it later. <laughs> get your hands on this. It's a 30 ml bottle. It's mostly glass because the juice is here, but it's really a fantastic, fantastic fragrance. I adore it. Well, there you have it, folks. My top 12 iris fragrances. I hope you enjoyed. I would love to share a 5 ml decan of one of these fragrances to one lucky subscriber. All you have to do is subscribe to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover, like and share this video, then leave one comment down below with what your favorite iris fragrance is. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Take care and I will see you at the next review. I'm sure there are many out there that I don't own or haven't smelled, but these are just the ones that I happen to own. An honorable, an honorable mention goes to, there are powdery ones, overly powdery. At number 11, from a moon, a purple feather, a purple ostrich feather boa to wear with purple velvet. Coming in at number 10, and I'm sure some will argue that it should be in a different position. Coming in at number nine, from Frederick Mall. Fumbly ends. This one is my favorite from the, what's his name? <laughs> Coming in at number six from Bruno Frazzo. <laughs> Coming in at number three from Atelier. <laughs> well, that's it folks. Hope you enjoyed this top 12 Iris list. Hope I gave you some good suggestions. That, that, it, it,